Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to be covering a very important and powerful e-commerce metric, revenue per session. Revenue per session is a metric we can get from our Google Analytics data. To calculate revenue per session, you're going to want to take the revenue you generated in a given period and divide that by the number of sessions you had in the same period. Now, what I have in front of me is Tableau. It's a data visualization tool that my agency uses uh, to build reports for our, our e-commerce clients. And with, Google, with Tableau, we can connect to Google Analytics, pull in the relevant data, and actually build very powerful reports showing the trend of revenue per session. Now, the best way to look at revenue per session is a moving average. The reason for that is we can look at revenue per session for a specific week, a specific month, a specific quarter. We could also compare it, which nothing wrong with doing it like that. But another way to do it is to have a trend like we have in front of us. This is a 28 day moving average of revenue per session. So the way to read this graph is that each data point is the previous 28 days revenue divided by the previous 28 days sessions. So we can see here our last data point in this graph, this uh, e-commerce business made 75 cents per session for all the sessions in the previous 28 days. And we can look at this trend over time to see if this, uh, if the business is improving the revenue it's generating per session on average, right? So for this specific, this is, act, this is real uh, data from an e-commerce business. This is, uh, as I mentioned, from Google Analytics. And you can see here, we've got um, basically, what is this? Just over two years worth of data, which is great. And I've already set up the, the function, um, the moving window uh, function and parameter. So I'm not going to spend any time on that. I actually have a, another video that covers that, which I'll uh, link to in the description below. And I've created a number of sheets here to show you uh, how this metric, uh, you know, can help us determine uh, interesting, uh, help us get interesting insights in the business. So the first view, as you see over here, this is the fully blended view. So basically a high level representation. And I can really see there's quite a lot of variance, um, even though we're looking at a 28 day um, period, right? So each data point is the previous 28 days. And yet we've got a lot of ups and downs. But luckily, you know, we see an upward trend going up and to the right. We're at 75 cents or 70, yeah, 75 cents currently. And all the way back here, we're at 57 cents. So it's been a, what is that, about 50% improvement or just, just under 50% improvement, which is great. Now, we don't want to stop here. Um, we want to dive deeper into this metric and really see what we can learn. So the next thing that's interesting is we can divide up um, this uh you know, this metric by new versus returning visitors. And as you can see here, it's pretty obvious, but our returning visitors are going to be worth a lot more than our new visitors. Um, on average, we can see uh, about 30, you know, back here, it's 34 cents for every new visitor to the site over here, 38 cents. So there's been a slight improvement. Um, we've had a bigger improvement with our returning visitors, which is which is great. And you can see the gap in the line, the two lines indicate that there's a pretty big difference. Um, see here, we're about four times, um, what is this, 40 cents. So it's almost four times, uh, returning visitors are almost four times more valuable to this business than new visitors. And obviously we're going to have a lot more new visitors than returning um but you know uh, you'll most likely see the same uh trend um and difference between new versus returning just nothing too um shocking here i guess one thing that i would want to look at is did the business improve its revenue per session uh for new visitors over time this business hasn't done a great job of that 
So, you know, different A-B tests and improvements to the user experience would boost this metric. Um, so that's a good one to keep an eye on. Return visitors, right? Uh, the fact that they've improved this, uh, I'm not really sure why. It just could be um, a health, healthier uh, cohorts um, of, of existing customers coming back over here. But the main one would be the improvement with the new so that's something I'd look at. The next thing, which um, you know, we can go one step deeper, and we can actually focus on the different channels. So if you're not familiar, Google Analytics will take all the traffic that comes to your site and put it into different uh, channel groupings. They call these default channel groupings. Um, there's some good articles on the internet that explains the logic behind this, but it's got. Um, it's got to do with the the UTMs of your traffic or just the you know the different referral information that's detected by Google Analytics for the session. So in this case, we can see over here in the legend the different channels, um, and you know we some of these you're probably familiar with direct traffic, uh, paid search is going to be your Facebook ads, Google ads. Organic search is going to be your search engine traffic. So Google, um, Google.com, Yahoo, Bing, Yandex, etc. Email is going to be, you know, traffic you're driving from email. And you can see here some craziness with email, which I'll talk about. Social is going to be your social network. So this is going to be your non-paid social traffic. So your organic, you know, Twitter, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Reddit, etc. Uh, other is going to be traffic you've tagged, but it doesn't fall within the logic of any of the existing groups. Um, so that's typically paid traffic, which isn't really tagged um, according to what Google recommends. Um, it could be other type of partnerships and stuff like that, where the partners are using UTMs. Um, so yeah, so we've got all these groups. Um, the first thing that sticks out here is obviously email. We've got a huge spike up here. Uh, if you remember, we looked over here, our average is, you know, 75 cents. And over here with email, we see it's over $8, right? So over 10x um, revenue per user per session from email. Nothing too surprising because we know emails, you know, one of the top, if not the top channel. Um, but we do see a lot of variance here, which is kind of interesting. And then also it just basically dropped off towards end of May and it's been flat since. It's not great. So, you know, it's been very successful for this business, but they've they've since stopped. Now, just to kind of clean this up, well, we, we can also see if referral is our second most popular channel here. Uh, not popular, sorry, most uh, valuable channel with over $4 per um session which is great and then the rest are kind of down here closer to the the average right um display as well has been kind of been flat for a long time um, paid search you know you can see it's been pretty consistent a bit of a boost up here which is great so we went from around 40 cents all the way up to 90 cents and we've been around the 70 cent range for a while that's that's a nice improvement um, organic search has actually dropped, so that's not great. Organic search is one of the, you know, that's your SEO. It's one of the best channels for scaling, um, very scalable channel typically. So we'd want that to be going up to the right over time, um, if possible, or maybe not up and to the right, but you know, if you, if your SEO is proving, then you're driving higher quality traffic and therefore your revenue per session should be improving, um, over time. Uh, what else can we look at here? So referral is very successful. Um, without giving away too much, this business has another site that they're, you know, they drive traffic, um, to this side from so that's probably it it's kind of a community based um setup that they have there so it's obviously the cross pollination is very strong um between the sides so that's why you've got this structure typically what you should see is pretty 
pretty strong um, organic search uh, email obviously referral be good but not this good in relation to everything else this is kind of an outlier type situation um, direct will also be pretty good just because a lot of traffic today is masked as direct so you know google can't really detect where it came from but um or it's people you know literally typing the name of your store in their address bar so it's going to be a lot of repeat users uh, keep in mind there's no filter set here just this is all of our traffic so we have new end returning um so the last section is kind of doing a side by side view of new versus returning by channel right so we can kind of go even one one level even deeper which is now breaking up our default channel groupings by new versus returning and we can see here that email is driving a lot of new visitors which might seem strange but the reason for that is you know you have people visiting your website on their desktop they're providing their email you send out an email campaign they click through on their mobile and since it's a new device it's going to appear as a new visitor in google analytics so this is going to be people that you know um it says new but they're probably uh, returning customers um that you know provided their email when when they're bought from your store so you might see a similar shape like this it's obviously very high variance the numbers are probably pretty low um here i don't don't have it within the the tool tip but the number of users is probably number of visitors probably pretty low thus you know high variance um, but you can see they're very valuable in relation to everything else uh, we can actually just get rid of the noise of email um, by just clicking on this little function we see also the referral traffic for returning is very high once again it's kind of a weird thing to see typically but this is because they're got a strong community and people are coming from another site they run um, and that's why there this referral is very valuable um they could also be tagging their traffic as referral traffic um you know maybe maybe by mistake uh and that's why it's referral traffic but it could be coming from you know other channels um and just be tagged incorrectly so let's get rid of referral as well now we see a lot of mess right so the rest are kind of um similar in size we've got this display at one very good day here um so yeah we can use the filters to kind of get rid of the noise uh let's maybe just focus for a second on organic search um and obviously right for returning visitors it's going to be higher than new the reason for this is just a lot of branded search so they're going to be going to google they're going to write the name of their of the business they're going to click through um they've really they really know the brand so you can see here very clearly that with organic search, the value per session is going to be more than four times or exactly four times. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope this video is helpful in helping you understand the, the power of revenue per session. Um, if this is a, a metric you're not tracking today, then I do suggest... Um, opening up Google Analytics, spending some time, you might have to do some exports and some work in Excel, which is a bit painful. Um, it's also something we can help with, uh, Pro uh, Project BI. We're an e-commerce agency. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.